yo, what is happening folks? This is Rowan from Optimizer Effects. Welcome to another episode of the Thousand Dollar Challenge. I'm really sorry I missed last week, but I just needed to take a week off as, uh, you know, things just got hectic for me and I just wanted a break. Um, so sorry about that, but this video is going to be quite interesting. Um, I do have one robot uh, that's not on here that I will be putting on at the end of the video, so stay tuned if you want to know which one that is. I'm going to be replacing uh, FX Island, which is this one here. I think I'll take that one off. Actually, no. I decided to remove Sky Blue, and the reason being is that um, I think we've determined it is a quite a very good EA, um, if traded correctly, and um, you know it, it's just good. So I'll, I'm, I'm going to get rid of Sky Blue. Um, we've to, yeah, it's 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 just good a good EA uh, if it's used correctly. You just use it on low settings. Uh, but that's about it with that one. I'll get to the new EA. I'm actually going to show you how Sky Blue has gone since um, I replaced it with the other working version. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the new EA with its setup, and uh, we'll get it trading uh, next week. So as you can see, uh, we're just going to uh, drill over some of these stats here. Uh, first up, and first up we have the Budak. Now this one here is trading one four hour time frame chart and it has made $267 since it started, uh, which is quite good. And uh, the drawdown, the max drawdown has been 6.25%. So um, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Uh, for only one pair, you could just only have one going. And we'll just, uh, I'm just going to, so this just started in 9th of December. And uh, we can see here that uh, hardly any drawdown, and it's gained 35% on the $1,000 account, uh, which, well, it says $267 says $267 profit, and it started at $754 um, when when I started this. So uh, I took over another account. It didn't have $1,000 exactly in there, but I knew that it was quite a very slow EA. And uh, from December through January to now, um, almost a month, and uh, almost two months, but you know, a month and a bit, and it's made uh, $267. So I'll keep it going, actually. And what I might do is, um, you know, now that it's been going for pretty much almost two months, uh, let's put it on the H1 time frame, and we'll see, um, we'll see if that. Uh, the profit increases and the drawdown will increase as well, but we'll see if you can handle it. Um, I, I'm just curious to know, uh, because the difference between 4 hour and 1 hour is quite a big difference uh, when with these types of EAs anyway. So, um, if you want to have a look at other stats, I know I can't really share this, but here we go. So this week, 4.45% this month, almost 20%, and uh, this year, well, 19.02%. So, which is <laughs> this month, <laughs> with the month of January. Uh, it's 252 trades. These are all the stats here for that one. Uh, this video, I'm going to be probably be opening each one uh, just to show you all how, how they've been going. So next one down is gold mining EA low. So this has, uh, this is not correct. Oh, it might be correct now. Um, it lost a fair bit of money and then it's gained it back, so I'm probably not going to go into that one. Uh, it says its drawdown is at 99%. I need to fix that as well by the looks, so I need to determine when uh, gold mining started and change the dates accordingly on my FX book anyway, so it shows all of this properly. Baby Shark, now remember, uh, if you're a previous viewer, I started Baby Shark on a 10k account and we are using the minimum lot sizes possible. Uh, on this account, like or minimum risk possible, I should say, because it doesn't allow you to use lot size. Uh, it's only a percentage of the account, so we're using the smallest risk that we possibly can on 10k, and it has profited $1,614 with a drawdown of 13.61%, uh, which is which is quite good for Baby Shark. Quite good. So I think um, I think the strategy for Baby Shark, if you're going to trade it, um, would be to try and let it use the lowest possible risk in percentage as you can. And I do have a previous video where you can have a look at how I did that. 
but essentially you just uh, do a quick back test and you just put the smallest, put your the deposit balance or your account balance that you're going to be starting with and um, just adjust that risk until it starts placing trades, uh, which is quite easy to do. And then there you go, you've got your lowest, uh, you've got your lowest there to start with. So that's all I've been doing with this. Um, draw down, draw down December the 30th was the biggest and then nothing really at all since then. So profit 1614, draw down 30.61 and it was updated 15 hours ago. You can see here this week 3.21%, this month 9.62%. So it is trading quite well. Uh, almost 10% in one month on a 10k account. It's quite good. Really good. So yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. And we've got Sky Blue, which is the one I was just talking about at the start. And uh, I'm probably not going to. Oh, I could go into this. We can see how it's gone from the very start. Uh, I did miss like a week where the EA expired, and I had to get another one, um, which might have been here. No, no, uh, no. This is where um, the GU pair um, hit margin call, and it didn't blow the account, but we lost a fair chunk, and it has now. It's still up seventy percent, uh, but it was up a lot more than that. It was up one hundred and ten. Uh, so it is profited seven hundred and ten dollars. The drawdown was fifty nine point eight two percent. It essentially margin called uh, pound USD. Um, about here, December the 18th, or probably the, the 17th, it might have held trades for a while. We had uh, a big drawdown event or equity growth event there. And um, we can see here that it carried some drawdown actually and it slowly decreased. Don't know how this all works here. Anyway, I haven't really looked into it much. Profit, drawdown, balance, growth. And this week, 1.6, 1 1.45%. This month, 7.63%. And uh, it has been going since September the 14th uh, on two pairs. So yeah, um, I definitely can recommend EA Sky Blue if you want to add that to your portfolio. Uh, if you don't know where to get it from, just shoot me an email or send me something in Telegram or someone in the Telegram can let you know as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, it's not an expensive EA, and it is definitely worth uh, definitely worth trading with um, if if you know how to uh, handle risk and drawdown, because it is you know you can get into a bit of a bit of trouble if not used correctly. So it's it's a, just remember EAs are tools. If you don't use a tool correctly, it's bad things going to happen. Let's get on to a new one. I'm sure you're all interested in this. This is a very popular EA, and for good, for good reason as well. Um, it is pretty much, I would say, pure <laughs> pure Martingale, and um, we can see here it's made 1.58% on the account. I'm trading the H4 time frame with just a buy and a sell leg, uh, which I'll show you in the chart soon, but. Um, they do have a user manual, and if you're using the equity that I've got now, they recommend to not use uh, H1, it's H4. So if you're going to use H4, and just remember, January is not the most volatile month. Uh, probably February we'll see things pick up, and uh, we'll see uh, see some movements with Euro USD. So uh, so far so good. Uh, you know, only a drawdown of 2.38%. So, yeah, um, super stoked with FX Core. If you didn't actually know either as well, uh, you can trade it uh, with multiple charts. So you can do like, um, if you want, you can do a buy and a sell. If, you know, it uses a separate buy and a sell if you didn't know FX Core. Um, so you can do a buy and a sell on H4, you can do a buy and a sell on H1, and you can do a buy and a sell on M15 and have like six charts going. And then if you see some volatility, you turn the M15 and the uh, and the H H1s off if you wanted to, uh, just to reduce the exposure and uh, uh, reduce the amount of trades that it does. Because 
uh, it can get quite crazy on the lower time frames and uh, just a quick tip as well if you're if you've got steel balls uh, you can actually use it with gold um, but you know that's up to you to test and and have a look at and uh, I found some pretty pretty good success with gold using FX score if you use it correctly it can be definitely a big weapon in your trading arsenal so um, yeah I'll be talking a bit about that later I don't have a big enough account yet to to trade gold with or that I want to risk uh, but you can definitely do it with um, with FX core you can do multiple pairs uh, just to let you know so there's not really much to really share with you about this one it is a very slow time frame uh, there's not many trades at all uh, you know I've made $17.30 but if you think about it that will pay for your VPS in a month this is this has only been going since January the 18th so you know if it was going for a month that pays your VPS costs if you just want a really low risk um, EA that you can you can turn up if you wanted to you just got to change the time frames on the charts uh, so it is, it is quite a good EA if used correctly as as always now uh, what's this PFX we'll go back to that FX stabilizer FX stabilizer definitely one of my favorite robots uh, if traded correctly now um, yeah a gain of 97.72 percent this has been going since July of last year this is the longest running EA I have in the portfolio and for good reason it is stable and the maximum drawdown it ever experienced was 33.52 percent um, and it has very close to doubled its account in uh, June, July. It's been six months um, on the minimum, like the minimum risk. So, yeah, I think this is just amazing. Um, I, I am trading it live. Um, it is trading with other EAs that are also slow. I call this a slow EA because, uh, you know, it's it's... It's only double the account in six months uh, on 0 0.01 lot starts start lots. Um, you can, I have done some back testing with it. You can increase that just a tiny bit, but um, it it doesn't really like it too much. So I think uh, 0 0.02 or 0 0.03 might be the max I'd do uh, for FX stabilizer live anyway uh, on a balance below 10,000. Um, I have not traded it yet with auto lot sizing, so I'm interested to see how it would trade with auto lot sizing turned on on like a ten thousand dollar account. That's something I may do in the future because um, I think it's this this EA is definitely one of the best and uh, in terms of stability and profits. And uh, I think we, I think if we have a look at it more, we could probably turn it up. I'd like to see what uh, what it could do if we turn it up because this is on pretty much just the lowest risk possible and uh, yeah it's just uh, you know it's 11% a month it's doing you know it hasn't done heaps this week 1.69% um, this month $170 this year or well, yeah it's always going to be this year but um, yeah so these are just some of the stats it has one open trade and it's in profit so yeah that's FX stabilizer for you PFX, I have a lot of people ask me about PFX and for good reason and the reason being is that it is currently the most outstanding robot in this portfolio and the reason being is because it it uses a grid slash a martingale strategy and you can turn it up or down based on the time frame just like FX Core um, but this is running a lot more pairs than FX Core so this is probably why it is winning so if we have a look at PFX so PFX has done is made 748% since it started uh, a max drawdown of 38.57 and it has made a profit of $7,475 which is absolutely insane absolutely insane so 
Let's have a look at the stats. Because I know everyone wants to have a look. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Here we go. So this has been running since September the 8th until January the 28th. And it makes 1.5% per day. Monthly 56% and drawdown of 3857 this current balance is 8474 that is no joke, that is correct. I started this account on $1,000 and it has got to that now in, in that time frame. Uh, there's all the stats there. This week it's done 4.25% on the account, this month 20% almost. And this uh, current set that I'm using has got a profit factor of 2.4 apparently. So. Uh, trades 5,758, so it does quite, it just trades quite often. And Z score is probability, I don't know about the sharp ratio, 0 0.04. People talk about this stuff, but I don't really, haven't really looked into it. It's used to characterize how well the return of an asset compensates the investor for the risk taken. The higher the value, the better. So it's got a 0 0.04. I don't know what value is high or low. Uh, but it's not negative, so that's, that's a bonus. Worst trade was 179 Best trade, oh, this is pips, uh, $24. And the best trade was 145 Average win, average loss, lots, and it's $663 in commissions. It does have 38 open trades. And it is down... Yeah, $1,700 right now. Yes, it's down $1,700 right now, which is to be expected. Uh, we can see that here. So, uh, the balance, the growth is going up, but the equity is going down a little bit. It is suffering a bit of drawdown. But there you go, that's PFX. All the stats for PFX. Next, we have... Life Changer. So this is one of the newest, newer ones, I should say. One of the newer ones. Uh, so far, so far, it has made 141 dollars uh, with a drawdown of 2.94 percent only, which is crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Now, when did I start this? start this. I started this on the December the 29th. So pretty much a month we'll say. Uh, it's done 13% on the account. The drawdown of 2.94 is pretty impressive. I uh, do have to say profit $141. Uh, so this week it made 1.67% on the account. This month at 11.1%. So there you go. There's not really too much to tell you about Life Changer. Oh, other than it is trading quite well, it does have four open trades, it's just negative two dollars and seventeen cents, so nothing to lose sleep over for sure. And uh, I, yeah, pretty happy with that. So that's Life Changer. Next we have uh, Ireland. So this is one of the ones I'm thinking of removing, replacing it with another one. Uh, it is a bit all over the place, it is in profits now, which is good. Get rid of that. Come on, my FX book. Yeah, we can see here it's a bit all over the shop. So it is up 51.17%. It started on October the 15th of last year. We have a profit of 511. And the drawdown has been 12.77%. There have been wins and losses. You know, there's been winning weeks and lose weeks for sure. And, uh, but the growth had steadily gone up and then we uh, we lost quite a bit uh, just here and now it is starting to go back up a little bit so you know it's it's still good it's still good um, today this week there is oh, there's nothing uh oh okay the last update was December the second no worries all right well let's disregard most of that. Okay, don't know what's happened there. Obviously the connection has gone and this account was updated in the December 2nd, so my bad there. It's gone, I don't know why it's here, so anyway. 
Simplicity. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Maybe this one's stopped too. November the 16th. Okay. Let's not worry about this one either. Sorry about that. Didn't know that. That it stopped. Right. Uh huh. I know what's happened. I know what's happened. It's all good. Because uh, with um, with my FX book, I'll just quickly show you. So you see all these MT4s here. MT4. They're all just uh, unassigned robots or accounts that have EAs on them. That yeah. So pretty much all I need to do is find the account number for Ireland and the other one I was just about to talk about and just hook them up, change the name, put them back in and then their account stuff will be updated. So that's all good, I can do that. Uh, let's go back. So we let's have a look here. Parabolic. That should be updated. Right. Sweet. Started this one on December the 9th. This one is, yes, this one's updating okay. Beautiful. Okay. So, Parabolic, this is trading just Euro USD. Almost default settings. I was going to say default settings are almost default. I think I've changed it to just a $2 take profit. The rest are default, uh, which I will show you on the charts when we get to them shortly. But it has done 40% of the account, 0.67% uh, daily, monthly, 22% drawdown, a max drawdown of 13.66, and it's made $413 since it started on December the 9th, so it's going quite well for one pair, and we we have, what, 6.19% this week, 23% this month. And what do we have? Uh, we've got one by and 0 0.05 for some reason and that's up a dollar thirty so I'll have to have a look at that see if that's correct um, but yeah but it's been going quite well profit factor of 2.18 uh, when I was designing and building this EA I was aiming for a profit factor of over two so bingo there we go that's good for one pair anyway for one pair and uh, yeah, there's a few tricks up my sleeve I uh, might release soon about this one. I might have it in the optimization video about Parabolic where you can um, essentially let it trade better and and um, have it not be stuck in drawdown as much and make more profits. So uh, I'll see how it goes. I'm still just testing it, uh, but it's just essentially is the same robot. It's just a strategy. That's all it is. It's just a strategy. But, uh, but yeah, this is, uh, this is going quite well. I'm pretty impressed with that. And I hope everyone that has bought it has also been impressed with how it trades, uh, as, as am I, which is why I built it. And last but not least, we have Ranger, which is still trading. And oh, when I get to the charts, I'll talk to you about some weird trade it's got. It's holding it. I don't know why. Uh, Ranger, Ranger, Ranger. What's happening here? It was updated 12 hours ago. Sweet. So this is another slow, like I guess you'd call it not a retirement EA, but it's something you'd trade, you know, all the time and don't have to really worry about too much. So it's done 8.94% since November the 2nd, but I don't know what happened here. It lost a heap and now it's coming back. So it is holding one open trade and I don't know why. I thought I'd just let it go. But maybe, uh, maybe when the computer got restarted or I had to load, I noticed that when I opened the terminal, one of the, the, the EAs was missing from the chart. Um, so maybe that's what happened. I think uh, it had an open trade. The EA disappeared from the chart for some reason when it restarted. And when I put it back on, it just didn't pick that trade up. So now it's just sitting at profit at $17.28, which I think is still currently doing. Uh, what's this one? That's oh, Badak. Stapler Ranger. Yeah, seventeen dollars and thirty-three cents. It is holding. 
Uh, just remember it's got a swap there. Um, so yeah, not, don't know what's happened there. It is uh, it is an AUD CAD, which is the one that I had to put back on. So um, it's not trailing it. It's not closing it. I don't know what it's doing. There's no take profit. There's no stop loss. There's I know I think it's got it all hidden, but um, but yes, yeah, it's just really odd. So what I might do on Monday is just close that trade and let it go again. But the weird thing is, if it's not managing that trade, it's not opening another one either. So yeah, very interesting. Very interesting with uh, with how it works. So that's just my FX book. Nothing to see there. We can see that pound CAD has had some trades definitely on the M30. There's quite a lot there. So yeah, a bit weird with that. But anyway. Um, that is essentially the breakdown of my FX put, all the stats uh, that I have not done in a long time for you all. So um, that's just uh, something for you all to think about and have a look at, uh, you know, whether you want to add or any of these portfolios to your EA, uh, uh, any of these EAs to your portfolio. I'm saying things backwards here, geez. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's, uh, that's all that. Uh, I've got FPS up there, I'll probably talk about the, that anyway, but uh, let's have a look here. So this is this is Sky Blue uh, on the chart, and these are the settings that I'm using. So uh, we're using low risk and standard contract size and just a medium pip close. So it's been going quite well. This is H1. Uh, I might rem yeah, I'm going to remove this EA anyway, so I was going to say you can probably move it on M M15, but I guess not. Uh, FX Core, there's not really too much to talk about with this, we kind of covered everything before, had some open trades, it's negative four dollars over the weekend, nothing crazy, nothing crazy, and don't worry about all of this, but yes, it's going quite well, uh, this is the island one, that has been profitable this month, nineteen dollars, which is good. Uh, PFX is down 1.5k, but it's got a balance of 8,400. Uh, so the drawdown is getting a little bit up there, but um, that euro pound looks like it's the problem. The euro pound is the one that is causing all the issues here. It's run out of trades again. <laughs> it's run out of trades. Yeah, so this is what I find with. Uh, I'm going to make it 40 now. So hopefully it can get out of its issues. What well, exponent is at 1.6? The problem here is that when it runs out of trades, uh, you get this drawdown. And especially trading the M15 time frame, it can get a bit crazy. So just be very careful with, uh, with PFX. Because uh, this can happen. Like if you had max trades set at 10, this would just keep going and going and going down and nothing would happen. It wouldn't close anything. Um, maybe sometimes I'm thinking with these types of setups, uh, it would be pretty cool if like, if it got to like the 10th level, let's call them the levels. Like if you have max trades set at 10, if it got to 10, then just close them all. Like it's obviously not going in that direction. Just close everything at a loss if it hits 10 and start fresh. And I think you'll take a bit of a hit, but considering how much it's made since it has been started, I think it'd, it'd only take a week to, to make up that. Um, and it's only happened just this once, and it's only Euro Pound that it has done this with. So just be careful. Just be careful with PFX. Just because we've had some pretty good profits with this doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean you can't get in the shit. And we're we're really in the shit now with Euro Pound. Just you just remember, like we're we're thirty trades deep. We're thirty trades deep with Euro Pound, and it is not really coming back up to close. Now that probably could be because. Um, we hit that trade limit before. Now, if I, I'm just going to show you here. Um, the problem with this is, right, is that uh, if if your trade limit was at 10 and you got you started here, right, 
then it went down, 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 down. Oh, there's your 10 trades right there, maybe. Shit, it's keep, it keeps going down. It hasn't even come back even near close to 10. What about 20? Oh, okay, sweet. There's more, more, more. Oh, sit. We've done another 10 trades. Nap still hasn't come back. Okay. 30 trades, which is what I've done. No. Because the gap maybe was a bit too great, it still hasn't closed. And we actually run out of trades at 30. So we're now, right now, I'm putting it at 40. How low is it going to go? Now, this is, we're on H4 here. This is a double bottom. It's gone up. It's gone up, come back. You know, it's traded quite well, very well. But we're running out of trades, and I think that's just what mucked it up. But imagine if uh, here, right? PFX went down, you've hit the 10th trade, boom. The EA just cuts everything off. You've taken a you know a loss. I don't know how much of a loss that would be. Um, it'd be a decent hit, but right now we're one thousand five hundred dollars down, and thirty trades deep. So you know how many? What's the max trades with PFX? What is your max trades? If you're going to be running the M15 time frame, which is what this is, uh, you don't want to be in this position. Definitely not. So I just want to let you know that um, if you want to trade this this strategy, uh, you can get caught out. And you know what? I'm caught out right now on a demo. Like it's a demo, right? Now, uh, the pound may lose strength and euro may gain strength and it will come back. But it may not. Uh, you know, it's only got to come back to here, though, for it to... Um, for it to close, and I think it will. I think it will. Now I've made it 40 trades. <laughs> I think it's going to open a few more bigger trades, and this this take profit line here will come back, and I think it will close next week. But there is that chance it might go the other way, and if you had that uh, that level stop, that 10 level stop, um, you could have been trading this all the way down and back up, uh, and not be stuck here. So. I'm not sure if that can be implemented as like an add-on EA or if with um, with PFX you just need to code it in if you had the source code of course uh, which would be easily done but you know that's just my two cents with PFX uh, I've had a lot of people interested in it and that's the reason why um, it is an aggressive aggressive strategy on M15 with all these pairs especially Euro Pound like that's I just chose all these pairs just off the off the top of my head. There was no strategy towards choosing any of these pairs. I just chose them all, chucked them on a chart, put it on in 15, said, "Hey, go have a crack." So here we go. Nothing really exciting here. I think lot exponent I've changed to 1.6. Everything else is default except for max trades. I think it was 10. Um, we're not using a trailing stop either. So uh, you can backtest that and see how it goes with that enabled or not. But there you go, that's PFX. Parabolic, we can see what it has been up to here. Not too much. Yesterday, $28, $29, 30, uh, 30 11 8 For the week, 83 The month, 274 So definitely a, a profitable robot. I don't need to talk it up anymore. It's just doing its thing. Uh, this is gold mining EA low. That is currently currently doing its thing. It's down 25. Gold's coming back up. And what did it do? $16, 13, 20, 18, $81 for the week. And the month is not correct. Oh, actually, no, that would be correct because it had a loss. I think when the computer was off. Anyway going well. Baby Shark uh, with a 10k account, 32, I don't know why today, today's like almost Sunday, so yeah, 32 yesterday. 20 bucks, 114, 130, 63, 361 for the week and for the month, $1,019, which is pretty good. Pretty good for the lowest risk. Now the lowest risk for 10k I worked out was 0 0.3. 
5% if you wanted to know. Next we have Life Changer. Life Changer, yes. Down $3.69. And this is what it did for the week. $19.72. Pretty good. Next we have uh, this is Simplicity. So it is, well, close a $22 loss. Uh, $24 this week with that loss. And it's down $7.49. And I think everything is on H1 now. So just seeing how it trades on H1 time frame, which is, uh, it's been good. I think it's been good. Nothing too crazy. Hasn't lost money this week, even though it had a loss day. Which is fine, you know, it's Forex. You can't win every single day. Well, you can, if you don't want to take losses. <laughs> um, Ranger, this is the, yeah, I've already talked about this. Nothing too crazy there. Stabilizer, uh, this is, oh yeah, I am using auto risk. Fix lot is at 0 0.02, so I don't, hmm. Don't know if auto risk even works, uh, but let's have a look at the terminal. I know oh that's account history. Where's it starting at? Oh no, it's still starting at 0 0.01. So maybe auto risk doesn't work, or yeah, I'm not sure. Not too sure. But yeah, we've got to find a way to turn this bad boy up. Can it run multiple charts? Yes. You can have multiple Euro USDs if you wanted to, you just change a magic number. The only thing is, if you do that, it's like putting all your eggs in one basket. So if Euro USD has a big move, you, all of them are going to be <laughs> in the shit. Unless they are maybe different strategies. I don't know, it's one to think about too. Badak, this is the H41. And remember what I was going to do? Boom, we've done it. Let's change this bad boy to H1 and see if that affects anything for next week. So this week we made 43, just remember that. Next week, let's see if that uh, that changes. So we've done 163 for the month, so it's pretty much bang on 50 bucks a week, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, with hardly any drawdown, trading H4 Badak. So there you have it. I am going to quickly remove a, uh, the sky blue and add an EA um, a new EA so I'll be back in one second I'll see you then yo yo so we're back I have replaced sky blue with Forex MG Pro EA which is supposed to be one of the best or one of the best EAs of 2020 we're going to see how it goes on their recommended settings and sets and we'll see how it goes but um, so this is pretty much it this is all default all default so I'm just going to use default settings M5 time frame on these currency pairs here and we'll see how it goes next week apparently it's pretty good I've got some friends tell me that um, just on default settings it has made them a decent amount in a short period of time so uh, let's put it to the test uh, there will be a live forward test on MG Pro uh, from today. So that is pretty much it from me. I've it's a pretty long uh, video to be honest, but you know I I felt as if it was time for me to go through all of those stats on my FX book with you all, and uh, just to show you all how the EA goes in terms of drawdown. You know what it does per day things like that, things that I know you're all interested in knowing and and some of my tips and and tricks as well that I can give to you for uh, for how to get the most out of your robots and to try not to blow accounts because we're all here for one reason and that's um that's to take make money trading. I enjoy it. I'm you know I'm really enjoying uh, trading not only just with robots but I also enjoy trading manually. I, I just for some reason I've just fell in love with trading and, and I'd really like uh, for this to be my full-time job and I'm really working on it so I'm, I'm hoping by the end of the year I can say hey yep I'm gonna be doing this full-time and and just killing it so that's my goal 
Uh, now I've said it, I've got to try and do it. I've got to work my ass off this year and uh, try and build some accounts. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it from me for tonight. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this and you're not subscribed yet, just remember to hit that subscribe button. And it really, really helps me out if you can smash that like button as well. But thank you very much for watching. Until next time, this is Rowan from Optimize FX. Catching you later. All the best for next week. Smash it. Thank you. Bye-bye.